All right, man. It's your boy JT, and this is the my complete breakdown, complete breakdown of the Chris Algieri Manny Pacquiao fight. This fight is in, I believe, a couple weeks, and uh, let's just get right into it, man. Um, first and foremost, man, this is a bullshit fight. You know, uh, you know, I have to go on a little rant prior to this because at the end of the day, this is a bullshit fight. Manny Pacquiao should not be fighting Chris Algieri, um, for various reasons. Chris Algieri has won one fight of note that's worth even talking about. I mean, I know he had to fight with Emmanuel Taylor and that's all good and great, but I mean... Just by beating Provodnikov, I just don't think he's worthy to get a fight with the supposed second biggest draw in boxing, the supposed second best fighter, or to some, he's the best fighter, whatever. No matter what, I just don't think that Chris Algeria has earned that right to, you know, to be in the ring with Manny Pacquiao. Secondly, I want to say Manny Pacquiao should win this fight handily. He should. He should win this fight handily. This is not something that um, uh, should be... I mean, Chris Algieri is not nothing really special. You know, um, this is a fight the second best fighter or to some the best fighter in the world should be winning you know there shouldn't be any there shouldn't be any backlash or uh not backlash but there shouldn't be any um confusion on who should win this fight should win this fight but let's just talk about how i see it going you know chris algeri's 20 and 0 he got the eight knockouts we know he's not he's not a big puncher but if you watch his fight with Emmanuel Taylor and his fight with Ruslan, he did show the he did show that he can box a little bit. You know, he can hit and move. Um, a lot of problems I saw with Chris Algieri is, um, especially in the Emmanuel Taylor fight. He's tall. He's five ten and a half, five eleven. He's tall, um, but the problem is. In in the Emmanuel Taylor fight, he didn't really use his height very well. You know, he used his jab, yes. He fought off the back foot. He did a lot of movement, side-to-side movement. Not too much, but he did a lot of move. He did some movement, and he would get on the ropes and cut shell up, let Taylor let off some combinations, and then he would go to backing up once again. Um... You know, uh, I don't, I don't think, I don't think that's a good idea against Manny Pacquiao. I mean, whether you pack tars like it or not, Manny Pacquiao is not the same fighter that he was um, uh, when he was fighting Margarito and Cotto, and you know, whether you like it or not, that's just the truth. Um, there's been a severe decline in Manny Pacquiao. We haven't seen the same power. There's not the same snap on his punches. Uh, there's not the same stamina. He's actually tying up more. There's not the same movement. Um, you know, after he got knocked the fuck out by Marquez, we've seen that he's become more of a boxer, man. He's not this power punching guy, fearless. Oh my God, I'm coming to seek and destroy everybody. He's actually a boxer now, which to me, um, can actually benefit him. You know, he has the athletic ability to to box. He has the athletic ability to lack, to make up for his lack of boxing skills. And he can use that. Actually, he has boxing skills. He does have boxing skills. He just, he doesn't, he's not a real technical fighter. He's just, he has solid boxing skills, and he's a, he has a lot of athleticism. 
you know. So those two things come together, and you got a Manny Pacquiao. And he's awkward. He's very awkward. He's different. It's a different look for guys. It's hard for guys to get um, sparring and uh, different rhythms to match that of Manny Pacquiao because, you know, there's only one. But let me not get off the subject. We saw Chris Algieri get hit with a shot against Probanikov. He got hurt. And he proved that he can weather the storm and and uh, and win the fight by boxing. But um, against a Manny Pacquiao, you're gonna have to uh, keep that up for a whole 12 rounds. Because I don't see him knocking out Manny Pacquiao. I don't even know if he can hurt Manny Pacquiao. That remains to be seen. But he's gonna have to be in tremendous shape, which he does look like he is if you follow him on Instagram and. You've seen him on 24-7. He looks like he's taking this seriously. Um, bottom line, man, the truth is, I'm going to take Chris Algieri to win this fight, man. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, he just don't like Pacquiao. That's the reason he take. It's not that I don't like Pacquiao, but um, he should win this fight. You know, but it's just, I smell something fishy in the air, man. I smell something fishy in the air, dude. I just, when you gotta, I mean, just even getting this fight is just weird. Like, of all people, why would you put Manny Pacquiao in with a guy who's tall, he likes to move a lot, he likes to use a jab and stay away, so now you you tell, you, you, you're basically putting Manny Pacquiao at a disadvantage. Even though Manny Pacquiao's levels above this guy in accomplishments and um, experience and things like that, even though he's levels above this guy, you're putting him at a disadvantage physically. You know, you're putting him at a physical dis- a physical disadvantage by taking this fight. Do I think Chris Algieri can pull it off? Uh, uh, I actually do, man, and it's just because. It's going to be hard for Manny Pacquiao. You, we, we know that Manny Pacquiao and Freddie Roach like to say that guys run. But see, the problem with Manny Pacquiao and that idiotic statement, that casual fan statement is you need to learn how to cut the ring off, which we haven't seen Manny Pacquiao do, cut the ring off and hunt a guy down, which is something we haven't seen Manny Pacquiao do in years. So to just say he's going to flip the squish and do it here, I mean, it's possible. But I'm I'm taking Chris Algieri, man. I think he got a physical advantages over Manny Pacquiao. You know, just giving Manny Pacquiao this fight, I mean, it's just it's, 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 it's mind-boggling to me. Like, who would pick this guy, you know, who you know, a young, hungry lion. I mean, he can't punch, but that's rather here or there, man. Can he get a decision in Macau? The thing you're going to have to do is box him outside, frustrate Manny Pacquiao, which he's going to get frustrated. You know, just box him outside for the whole fight, box him outside. But at the end of the day, you're going to have to engage him as well because, you know, you go, you're going to come into the fight against everyone's favorite hero, Manny Pacquiao, you're going to be down three rounds before the first bell even rings. So you're going to have to beat the hell out of him, and you're going to have to engage him because you got to give the poor baby a chance to 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 score some points, to, to land some punches, because if not, you know, it's going to be a big conspiracy, and Freddie Roach is going to go on a ride, and Manny Pacquiao are going to say that you're running, and all this stuff, man. You know, uh, Chris Algieri just box, even try to engage him, get on the inside and engage. And, you know, I got Chris Algieri winning by split decision, man. And, you uh, know, um, yeah, man, Manny Pacquiao, uh, he's finished, man. He's finished, just face it, man. Uh, He's a shell of himself, man. You know, uh, 
I don't know, man. I just I don't see it. I don't see the fire in him anymore. Even the fight with Bradley. I mean, a lot of people talk about that fight. Like, oh, he beat Bradley. Like that fight was a landslide. I had that fight, a one or two round fight, man. It's not like Manny Pacquiao ran away with it. Bradley saying he's injured. You know that's you know that remains to be seen. But at the end of the day, man, I think Bradley's a better fighter than Algeri. But I think the physical advantages that Algeri has, if he can put up a good fight, I mean you got you got Bob Arum talking about. Um, there's a rematch clause, and if, if Chris Algieri wins, there'll be an immediate rematch. I mean, that should tell you everything right there, man. He's not even the promoter of Chris Algieri, and he's saying this. I mean, don't you guys find that? I mean, I know you, I know a lot of Pacquiao fans, they don't, their brain just doesn't, doesn't work like a normal human being. But don't don't you find that a little bit weird that a guy who's not even not even Chris Algeria's promoter is saying is basically insinuating that Chris Algeria will win this fight? Did you hear Bob Arum talking like that about Sergio Martinez against Miguel Cotto? He never said that. He never insinuated that. Martinez will win a fucking fight because he wanted Cotto to win because Cotto's his guy, right? So, you know, um, you know, that's just food for thought, man. I smell something fishy in the air. They might fuck around and rob Manny Pacquiao for who knows what reason, man, because they, obviously, they want another fight out of Chris Algieri and Manny Pacquiao. It's really a win-win for Algieri, man. Algieri's gonna get paid. Even if Algeria gets, even even if I, I think it's gonna be a close fight no matter what, man. Even if Chris Algeria gets robbed, he's getting line for that rematch, man. He's in line for that rematch. I think it's gonna be a close fight, man. So that's how I see it, man. It's your boy JT, I'm out.